so in high school, we went to church as a family. Like, I knew all of the Christian things to say. I never really had a personal relationship with God. When I graduated, I um, spent two years at Montgomery College. After that, I transferred to George Mason University in Fairfax, which was a really cool opportunity. I got to work as a resident assistant for a special needs program there on campus. We gave ourselves the nickname Team Palm Tree, and it was just a cool picture and visual of how we can be swayed in so many different directions, but if we're all united, then we'll never break. 2011, I started to not really feel that great. I had a inflamed lymph node in my shoulder blade near my collarbone. My dad said that the test results had come back and that I had cancer. For my cancer, Hodgkin's lymphoma, because it was pressing up against another organ, it was considered stage four cancer out of stage five, which is pretty significant. It definitely wasn't easy. I remember being in the basement of my house. I remember at that moment in the basement, I heard a voice that said, well, you could just kill yourself because that's better than what you're experiencing now and at least you would be with Jesus. For a good couple of years after finishing tre treatment, I just lived in this place of fear of death, fear of my cancer coming back. Um, I remember uh, a bunch of my friends and I went to the Outer Banks for a week because people wanted to get baptized. Something inside of me was like, you need to get baptized and kind of rededicating my life to him. So having that fear go into the water and be raised into a new creation in Christ and no longer having that fear take hold of my life. Obviously, there is still some anxiety and just fearful thoughts that come occasionally because we're human. But if there's one thing that I could say that God taught me overall is that He doesn't want us to live in darkness. I've been able to use my testimony to just be a witness in this dark world. And a couple years I was thinking, well, why is this happening? Okay, well, I still don't fully understand it, but I have been in this situation so I can help my cousin who's going through this similar situation. My favorite verse, which was the inspiration for the tattoo that I got a year ago is from 1 John where it says, perfect love casts out fear. He, in his miraculous and gracious love, has cast out all of the fear that's inside of me because his spirit's living within me. That's only possible because Christ died on the cross for our sins, for cancer, for fear. That's why I live for him.